So Resident Evil 4 is coming to the Oculus Rift, and while it might sound like a cool idea, you're not getting the same game you played before. You're getting a censored version. So I'd actually heard about this about two months ago. I talked to somebody about what was going on with Resident Evil 4 VR probably one of the people that Pete talked to as well. This is a happy warrior Pete at his sub stack. He has this nice article here. I'm going to link it in the description. He's a pretty good dude. I've talked to him before. Uh, He's a good guy. And he's done some great work compiling all of this. So definitely go check it out. Resident Evil 4 is considered probably by most Resident Evil fans to be the best one in the series. And that's for good reason. It's a fantastic game. And I think like most, I was actually kind of looking forward to this VR version because, I mean, it'd be cool to play it again and again. And uh, how cool would it be to play it in VR? I don't really like Oculus, though, and it's for reasons like this. So Resident Evil 4 has been very nerfed, and it's not so much because of Capcom, even though they did approve this. uh, The censorship calls came from Facebook. So that really shouldn't be a big shocker, I think, to anybody here. They're not really changing the violence. What they're changing is anything considered misogynistic. What is that? So let's take a look at what he says here. According to my sources, uh, we have confirmation that there are indeed many irreverent alterations to both story content and dialogue. Those include, these include notable changes to dialogue, deletion of some scenes and achievements, proactive protection. With alterations focused on removing any scenes and dialogue that the gaming news media and social justice crowd may deem misogynistic. And there's a couple of examples that are in here that are, are worth talking about, I think. And the reason I'm making this video is I think this could sell a lot of Oculus Rifts based on the title. And a lot of people are going to want to play this. And I think you should be aware to what you're getting. The ending, by the way, has been altered a lot from what he said here. So the compilation video I received features only some of the revisions in the remake. In the video, five scenes showcase heavy alterations. In the first two scenes, we can see the removal of flirtatious dialogue between Leon, the game's main character, and his radio support, Ingrid. During the third scene, a main character, Louis Sierra, if I'm saying that right, jokes about the deuteragonist Ashley Graham ballistics, a comment slyly referencing her character's bosom and general appearance. These dialogue exchanges are now sanitized, leaving radio static and oddly stilted dialogue where they used to be. These alterations are likely to annoy veteran Resident Evil fans but the mutilation of the game's ending will perturb them. Uh, so anything that has any flirtish, flirty stuff, in one of the videos, and I did watch some that he provided uh, during one of the flirting scenes, they actually just cut it out so it sounds like the the radio kind of like had a static hiccup so you can't hear anything. It's it's really odd and it seems stupid. Like, why can't why can't people flirt? You know, it's 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 funny to me that A man and a woman flirting is now considered offensive. I mean, how stupid is that? People naturally flirt. I mean, how do you think people, how do you think people get together? Like, mostly it's done by flirting. But, I mean, we've seen this before. We've seen in media where they consider that offensive and sexist. And it's like, what is going on? It's, It's like it's purposely being made harder for men and women to come together. But you know what? I bet you if it was like this dude flirting with Le- like Leon, that wouldn't be considered sexist. That would be praised as progressive. And uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But why is that okay? And Leon flirting with Ingrid is bad. That's what I'm trying to say. In scene four, he continues, we see significant alterations have been inflicted on the ending with at least 30% of the original dialogue missing. 
The worst yet is in scene five in the original after the credits roll, Leon admits his attraction for Ingrid, then asks her for her phone number for which he is rebuffed. Unlike the previous alterations featured in this video, the scene is complete. This scene is completely erased from Resident Evil 4 VR. Now, when he says scenes, what he's referring to are the scenes that he has up here in this video. Uh, he's got several different scenes, and I'd seen some of these before he had made this. Um, you know, some people will say, who cares? And I know there's going to be those people that say, who cares? And look, if you're okay with this, by the way, this uh, secure Ashley achievement, gone. Gone completely. Uh, remember this? Uh, this used to say, guess there's no sex discrimination here. And that's because this was a female villager that was... Uh, but chopped up on this wall. Now it says, I guess no one's safe here. And I understand some people are probably going to say, who cares? Right? The game is still intact. I can still play it. It's just got this dialogue missing. And that's fine. If that's your choice, uh, more power to you. But I think some people deserve to know that this game is nerfed. Uh, all of the spicy dialogue has been removed. And to be honest, like it wasn't even that bad. Why is the scene of him saying, I'd like your phone number, Ingrid. You look cute without glasses removed. What's sexist about that? The sexism bar is so low that it turns it into a joke. Like, literally, it's just small flirting, and it's not even done that well because the voice acting is atrocious in these games. So it's just ridiculous to me, and I think a lot of people that come across this are going to agree that it's ridiculous. It just gets worse and worse as time goes on. So, I mean, it's up to you. If this is a game that you want to buy, uh, go ahead. But I think a lot of people are going to just be dumbfounded by this and probably pass it up. For those of you who even have an Oculus, I've done videos on what they steal, the information they steal. If you have an Oculus Rift, Facebook probably has your whole room laid out. Anyway. That's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. What do you think of these silly changes? Give me your thoughts. Also, uh, make sure you still subscribe. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell. Comment, share, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Also, if you want to help support the channel, check out my Teespring store. There's a link in the description. You can find some merchandise in there that you might want to check out. Also, make sure to follow me over on Twitch. I do watch parties, play video games over there. They're always fun. Follow me over there and come hang out. Also, make sure you subscribe to Yellow Flash, my other channel. There's a link to that in the description as well. I do a lot of live streams over there that I don't do on this channel. They're usually smaller and a little bit more personal. So make sure you follow me over there and sign up.